Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Gazza9919 here, and today I have bought an absolute load of stuff for Norman, but the main thing we're going to be focusing on is if the magnetic sump plug that I bought this time 7,000 miles ago actually did anything. But yeah, I bought various other things apart from oil, and I'm going to go through that with you now. So, first off, we have the uh, MAN air filter. It's about time. It's probably been quite a while since I changed that. Probably doing a video on that. And then obviously our oil, which hopefully we'll be getting around to doing today. And um, HT leads. It's uh, something that probably didn't need doing, but I'm doing it just because I've never done it since I've owned the car. And then obviously we have our oil filter. And last but not least, our Bosch spark plugs. Um, so I'm really looking forward to fitting these. The reason I've gone for the spark plugs and the HD leads is I can tell that the spark isn't as like healthy as it could be. And what I mean by that is that basically on idle, it will sometimes, it will sit at 800, which is a standard rest in an RPM, and it sometimes just dip down to about 700, then back up to 8, then 7, then 8, and it will do that quite repeatedly. Uh, it's not a major issue, really. I mean, it, it is, but it isn't, because, you know, the car's still running, the car still works. But ideally, I'm just getting it sorted, because, it, yeah, it's... It's just not ideal. Right then, so we're now to the point where we're just going to uh, slacken this sump bolt off, the magnetic one, and see if it's actually done anything. See if it's actually worked. So as we can see, there's a tiny bit of, tiny bit of build up on the tip there, so I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. Right then guys, so that is the oil changed, and I figured out the next oil change is going to be due at... 103,000 miles like it is crazy to think with that car that when I got it it was just on 60,000 miles and this massive journey we have been on with the uh, with good old Project Norman you know been down to Brighton with him been to uh, all the way to like uh, oh, what's the other place Norfolk been down to, obviously Skeg everyone goes Skeg um, but yeah the next the next big one this is a Bit of spoiler, but the next big one is Scotland. Don't know when we're going to do it, but we are working on it at the moment, so you'll have to bear with us. So, you're probably wondering about the magnetic sump plug, and I did have a bit of a closer inspection of it. I mean, the little clip I recorded, you know, that was, I just wanted to get it done, really. Like with most jobs, you don't want to faff about with it too much. Um, yeah, with closer inspection, there was a tiny bit, like I said, what well, I even said it in the video, a tiny bit of build-up, but it, I zoomed in on a picture I took of it, and it seems like ever so tiny little molecules of metal, but you've got to bear in mind, that's over the course of 7,000 miles, so it's not too bad, and we got no, we've got no, like, big chunks stuck to that sump plug, so that is, that, I think that's pretty normal wear and tear, to be fair. And even like with the oil, I would change it every 7,000 miles. It isn't exactly like full on black when I come around to change it. It's still a bit goldenish, so it probably can still last another thousand. But I just like to do it for peace of mind. I know some people even go um, as much to say as 5,000 miles every change. But yeah, it's one of those things where it depends on what car you have and depends on personal preference. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps me out. And if you like these sort of videos, one, there is a playlist I've created. I'm pretty sure it's on the channel somewhere. And two, press that bell icon, then you won't miss them. But yes, and another thing, before before you leave, you stay there, you stay there. Um, what it is, is we are so close to a thousand subscribers. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we're so so close. Last time I checked, we was at 892. We just need that extra 100 and uh, 108, and we've we've got 900. So come on, guys, tell your uh, tell your grandparents to subscribe. Tell your goldfish. Tell your oh, tell your pets. Make the create them an account just to subscribe. But come on, we need to get to thousand subs. And for all of you that have stuck around and made up to what it is now. 
Thank you, you are awesome. I hope you're still enjoying the content today. But that is it for this video, guys. And until the next time, peace. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, guys, and 9919 here.